I've been in this rental camper van now for just about two weeks. And I gotta say, the amount of space in here I am sure going to miss when I go back to my low roof van once it's all repaired. But about a week ago, I took a major rock chip to the front window that literally punched glass through onto the dashboard, and now the entire crack is over three feet long. So later on today, I'm gonna go in and see if my insurance company will cover that repair. Oh yeah, hot chocolate in the morning. Don't tell me you don't eat the marshmallows off the top of your hot chocolate. Come on now. Mm. Okay. Well, welcome to van life where you gotta get ready in the kitchen. <laughs> a space in my van, my Ford Econoline van, to put a mirror. This thing is, it's awesome. I've used it every single day. And when you wanna wash your face in the morning, you gotta do it the van life way. Just dip your towel into the hot water. <laughs> what? That's what we do, oh, steamy, look at that. Mm. What, you've never washed your face with your hot chocolate water? Come on now, you haven't lived until you've done that. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Whew. Another gloomy day here on the West Coast. Oh my gosh. Give me that hot chocolate. Yum. One of those marshmallows didn't last long in there. Anyway, I'm at the new shop this morning. I got to let in the insulator. Ugh. Mr. Batman is in today to finish the entire shop. That's it. After this, it's on to drywall and putty. Then after putty, it's paint, heaters, then moving in. <laughs> it's so good. Got to put some door hardware on these doors. This is awesome. Everything up here is done for insulation. Finished. It's all done so awesome anyway that's it i think the boys are the boys are here nobody's working upstairs today so good morning batman good morning mike that's all i came here for to make sure all the contractors were inside the building had everything that they needed what do you feel like doing this morning Oh, something's been on my mind lately. There's been a box in my shop. I opened it up the other day, but I've been dying to get into it. So today, we're gonna make a bike. This box has been sitting in my shop for a little while now. I got as far as taking the tire out, but we are gonna put this bad boy together today. It's a dual battery e-bike. Little fat tires. Oh, this thing looks like a little dirt bike. Kind of like one of those like, you know those mini bikes, those old square frame mini bikes when you're a kid? Yeah, I'm stoked on it. We've been so caught up with contractors and stuff at the other shop that I haven't had the time to take this thing apart yet. We'll put it together today, but I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna need to be charged. Unless by magic, it's got some juice in it. We can take it for a rip today. A kickstand. Oh, friends, look at that. <laughs> Dual batteries. Boom! Another thing that we should go do today is take off to the insurance place and see if they'll cover my broken windshield on the rental Karma camper van out there. It'd be awesome to find out if I gotta pay that 
windshield replacement bill. <laughs> this thing is awesome. At least I can say this thing was super well packed. <laughs> Damn. And it's even got Shimano shifters. Let's go. Oh, peel the plastic. Oh, that's always satisfying. Oh, it's got lights too. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all together. Freaking cool, right? <laughs> I chose to go with the white one because I like the way the orange popped on the way with the tan seat. But these are freaking cool, right? Now they come in all sorts of different colors. Well, does it come with all the tools? Ah, stickers. Okay, pedals. Ooh, all the tools. Oh, yeah. Freaking perfect. It's always fun when you get something and then you don't have to, like, worry, oh, do I have that tool when they come with everything. So when these companies reach out to us wanting to have their products featured on our channel, they want the advertising and the screen time. So if you're wondering, no, this is not a paid advertisement. I got this bike for free, but I only took it for free because I wanted it. This thing is so freaking cool. We get e-bike companies reach out to us on a weekly basis and normally I'm flipping through them. I'm like, nope, no thanks. Flipping through this one, found that bike and I'm like, that is so cool. I have to have one. So guys, I didn't take this to advertise their bike. I took it because, <laughs> because I'm a boy that likes to have his toys. But this thing's pretty cool. Dual batteries, does like 150 kilometers of range. Ah, it's got a horn. Those are different headlight settings. That's your speed. So it goes up to five. You can turn it right down to zero or one. All right, we can take the plastic off this baby. Come on, we got this, ready? Let's go. This is what happens when companies reach out and like Chrome, we have an e-bike. You think your audience will like it? I'm like, I want it. <laughs> Come on, out the door, let's go. Oh, this thing is super wicked. <laughs> That is probably one of the coolest ones I've gotten yet. It's perfect for van life. Like that thing would fit back in there. You wouldn't be able to sit it upright because the bed's not high enough, but look at that, headlights, taillights. Oh, let's go. Ooh, this feels nice. It's got a good stance. So I kind of leveraged you guys to get free stuff for me. I'm sorry, but something deep inside of me also says that I'm not sorry either. But I know adding an e-bike to your van life is something that a lot of people think about, especially if you're someone who likes to sit somewhere for a week. This allows you to get out and explore the towns and areas that you're in. And this one with like 75 kilometers per range per battery is actually quite impressive. This thing is a, uh, it's a ton of fun. So stick around guys, because if anybody is gonna break something, it's gonna be me. So stick around to find out if this bike lasts the test of time. <laughs> this thing is wicked and super long range because it's got the dual batteries, top and bottom. You can see the top of the battery here by pushing that, how much juice is actually left. And something I just noticed while I was out there is you can change the compression of the front shocks that way if they're too stiff you can just you know you can affect the rebound and everything else on them i think mean, that's pretty cool it's got the nice little readout out there it tells me how much battery charge is left there and the throttle is right here whoa we're doing burnouts Oops, we're digging a hole <laughs> like uh we dug a deep hole enough having fun, fun and games we're gonna take off and go to the insurance place and see if they'll cover the front window on that big, beautiful camper van. You know, the window that a rock hit and I broke. If y'all missed it. On this big, beautiful Karma camper van, my window took one heck of a rock. It's cracked all the way down here and all the way up to about there. What do you think, Cruz? You think the insurance place is gonna say, no way? You messed up, now you gotta pay for the window or you think the insurance company's gonna be like, yeah, that's cool. That's covered underneath your insurance.
You can answer me, you know that, right? Alright, the sign here says ICBC Glass Express Shop. She was like, I have never ran into this before. She's like, I don't know what to do. So she called and now I have to call dial a claim. Phone 1-800-910-4222. You have reached ICBC. We're here to help. If you've already filed a claim with us, you can check the details of your claim or submit claim documents at any time. My camera died, you guys. <laughs> You missed the rest of my day. You want to tell them what we did the rest of the day? We didn't do anything, did we, bud? There's people walking over there while I'm putting the window covers on. All right, so I talked to ICBC, which is our insurance company here in British Columbia, and I talked to Karma Camper Vans, and I'll let you guys know what they what they said. This foil window cover doesn't give you a full blackout. It's not quite not quite high enough, but all in all, it works out pretty good though. I got dinner too. I got root beer, a sandwich, and some chips. As much as I want to talk right now, I got to eat. <laughs> we got ourselves a brisket sandwich from Subway. Oh, dinner was so warm. <laughs> I was slipping on the floor. <laughs> so I got some good news. My insurance company said that they will fully cover the window on my rental so what happens is when you have a good driving record here in British Columbia, they give you road stars and then they give you a free roadside plus package with your insurance on your main vehicle. But if I leave that main vehicle and I get a courtesy car or I rent a vehicle like a camper van or anything like that, that insurance follows me. So I have that insurance on this van. So technically when I rented this, I didn't need to buy their actual insurance because my insurance company, because of my good driving record, fully covers me for everything in here. But when you're renting one of these vans, if you choose not to buy their package, which the one I bought was $27 per day for insurance, if I choose not to buy that, I have to put down a $5,000 security deposit in order to rent this. If you buy their insurance, it's only a $1,000 security deposit, which you get back right away as soon as you return the vehicle. As soon as they do the little walkthrough on and everything passes, you get your money back. But if you don't take the insurance out on the vehicle from them, you got to put down quite a hefty deposit on one of these things. So yeah, pretty easy, man. Just take it back to Karma Camper Vans with a broken window. They fix it. They send me the bill. I get my money back. So all in all, that was a, but th that was really good because I was worried about having to take a half a day somewhere to take this in to go get it fixed before I have to return it. So on that note, we do have this fan for a little bit longer into February, a little bit before I'm returning it, just because we have a lot of stuff going on right now. And if I have to build a home back in another van, I need to rebuild my bed platform in the back of the shop van because I noticed something today I was going to film it, but it was at the point when my battery and my phone was dead and we missed out on a chunk of my day. The roof on the ambulance that's outside is leaking. So we just gutted the square ambulance out there. So that leak had been there forever. I think just because with the build in it, we, nobody noticed it because it was just running down somewhere. Well, the whole inside of the van on the floor, right where the front of the cutaway Fort O'Connor line meets the shell of the ambulance, right in here somewhere it is pissing the completely pissing water inside of it i went in there and i'm like oh god no uh anyway uh
Thanks for watching today, guys. I know things have been crazy and hectic in my world, but I'm trying to start a whole new business right now. And today was another day that I really honestly thought about hiring a shop kit. If I found the right kid, that's me, somebody younger. I think today, if the right kid was in front of me, I would have hired them instantly because I really could have used somebody today. Somebody that can go run around and get parts for us when me and Lauren are there, so I don't have to go do that. Because there's parts of this that I would rather stay in film than run around and just do all these little errands and things which are not filmable. So yeah, if you're on Vancouver Island, you're young and you're eager and you, you think van life is awesome and you'd love to be surrounded by vans and you're willing to push a broom and stuff like that, hit me up. If my daughter lived on this island, she would be working for me right now. Danica, come move to the island, okay? Because I, damn, I could, she would be awesome at this. She'd be great. But uh, she's heading off to university next year, I think. And uh, she's not on the island, so that's not going to happen. All right, everybody, we out. We had a bunch of shirts come into the shop today, some of our new shirts. There's 10 more boxes of shirts coming in tomorrow, hopefully, but I don't want to be at the shop. I'm hoping I can get Amanda to be there. New larger shirts are coming to the store very, very soon, like in the next like two or three days. We'll have the What's Up Weirdos long sleeves all the way up to 5X and the Van City Van Lake long sleeves all the way up to 5X as well. All right, y'all. Peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to bed. I am freaking tired. <laughs>